What was it? Fans saw uh, him strip off to tiny white speedos in the Young Pope. This is Jude Law I'm talking about. If, uh, it's not cryptic. Um, and Jude Law says he sometimes has to accept roles to put grub on the table for for his kids. Is he fucking joking or what? He's a fucking actor in, in Hollywood and Hollywood movies and stuff. I'm not having to go at him, but I hear this many times from... Uh, oh, I've seen it before about actors who do these shit adverts like... Harvey Keitel and fucking Robert De Niro doing Warburton's breads. It's got to be down to the divorce fucking situations, but how can he be struggling to put grub on the table for his kids when he's fucking... One one movie, if I did one movie at one of his prices, I'd retire. I'd be like that, that's it, we're done, we're sorted. We're fucking, you know... He's been in a Spielberg movie, that movie, I wouldn't have fucking... I'd put my feet up. I could do any, any other movie for fuck all. And I'm still rich, you know, so I don't know what these people do with their money. You know, they've got to look fucking... I, sp I think they live too much in that bubble and they just think, oh, I'm going to be safe forever and they just start spending and just going, yeah, you know what? Put me in the Dorchester where it's six grand a night. I'll be in the fucking travel lodge and that. I'll be thinking, this is, this is too good to be true. This ain't going to fucking... This can't possibly... Be go on forever. I'll just think, you know, I'm fucking, you know, I've been given like a, a Willy Wonka bar or something like that, and he's not around the corner. Someone's going to go, hang on, this guy, how's he got onto the books and everything like that? Fucking get rid of him. But you know, I think they've been on the, uh, they've enjoyed it too much, and they just start spending. Next thing you know, no big movies come around the corner, and they find themselves. For trying to stealth fucking stalk SB margarine or some shit like that. So, uh, and he's saying, I'm constantly going through battles with my relevance, my integrity, or my sense of self as an artist. I can understand that. I mean, I'm fucking doing that right now with this podcast. I'm talking to space here, wondering what the fuck I'm doing. But, um, you know, that's all about doing art. And um, I suppose it comes down to when you take shit parts as well. Again, it lends itself to that fact. When you're fucking loaded, you go, you know what? I don't want to do a shit part, <laughs> a shit part in a film. Don't bother doing it. I'll wait till uh, something good comes along. I don't care if it takes two years. But when you take shit ones, you're going to go, you know what? Everyone's slagging that movie and like I'm the reason, and I'm in it. So it's not doing good for your self-esteem, is it? No matter who you are. Start at the bottom, like me, right here and now. Uh, when I make it all the way to the top, I'm going to take the fucking money, bank it, and I'll be at the travel lodge that's about the fucking top of my um, um, expense, if it's coming out of my pocket. Dorchester, if it's coming out of uh, you know somebody else and somebody's paying for it, and that's all good. I'll go for I'll go for the diva role, you know, champagne in my dressing room, all that bollocks. Um, but if it's coming out of my pocket, do it on the do it on the cheap. Right, 